For submitting samples to entomology, we prefer to look at insects, spiders, scorpions, snails, slugs, organisms like that. Um, first, many of them are large enough that we can identify them based on a photograph. If you want to send us a photograph, simply attach it to an email to our helpline. In the email, write where you collected it, um, what is your question, what do you want to know about this animal, and include who to reply to, either an email or a phone number that we can call, and submit it, and we can get an answer back to you quick, or we can have questions regarding this to, to help you out. For other animals, insects like scale insects, aphids, mites, those things are so small that you're not going to get a good photograph. So for those, we ask that you collect a, a, a sample of the plant, wrap it up in paper towels in a couple of, a couple of layers of bags with the appropriate slip. This was all covered in our botany section. And submit that following their procedures. We can then take the samples and work through them uh, based on what you send in. For other insects that are, might run around, like weevils, beetles, butterflies, caterpillars, they need to be collected and killed, um, either in the freezer or in a little bottle of alcohol. And then for submitting them, you need to put them in an airtight container, add a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of rubbing alcohol because this is a flammable liquid and there are legal concerns about shipping flammable liquids. Add some tissue paper to absorb the excess so it's, so it's not sloshing around. Tightly close the lid. Then place the vial in a bag with some tissue paper to absorb any leakage. Wrap that up nicely and tightly. Put that into another bag so that there's double bags to, to prevent any spillage of the, of the liquids. Okay. And then with a completed slip, put that in one more bag, just like, just like our other, other sections. Put it in a box to mail. Now, do not send entomology samples in an envelope because vials will break and then there will be flammable liquid leak leakage and that could cause problems. So, in closing, for entomology samples, make sure you don't send anything living. Um, submit the appropriate sample form filled out completely and make sure you include on the forms any questions you have regarding those animals so that we can help you out. Thank you.